Hi friends, hope you're doing great today. So now we would be discussing about position hierarchy security in Dynamic CRM. So let's say in an organization you are implementing Dynamic CRM and the organization wants different ways so as to like view the records in different different business units. So let's say you are implementing it for a pharmaceutical organization. The main ORG is their main head office with their multiple regional offices and below the regional offices we have city 1, city 2, city 1, 1 as their sub business units. Now in the brackets is the name of the every user which is linked to that particular business unit like say regional manager is associated to regional business unit, salesperson is associated to city 1, salesperson 2 is associated to city 2 and salesperson 1, 1 is associated to city 1, 1. My requirement for this implementation is salesperson should be able to see his own records at the same time at times people would be needing to see the records from different positions in the organization let's say salesperson 2 wants to view the records of salesperson 1 1 though they are not in, under the same business unit or same hierarchy but the requirement is such that because this salesperson 1 is also selling all those products for which salesperson 2 is assisting him and to meet up this type of requirement wherein we want salesperson 2 belonging to altogether a different hierarchy to view the records to take up the actions on the records of salesperson 1 1 then we go for implementation of position hierarchy in dynamic CR. Now we do have two types of hierarchy security in dynamic CRM the manager and the position manager has already been discussed in my previous video and wherein I have explained you what is its benefit the, ch and the challenge with implementing a manager security in here would be because city city 2 and city 1 1 are not in the same hierarchy of business units that's the reason we need to opt in for position hierarchy in an organization you can enable either position or a manager security at a time you cannot enable both of these at the same time in the setup now let's switch up to our screen the dynamic crm screen first thing when you are doing the position security the first thing in the application is to create different positions out in there like which would be your parent position which would be your child positions and how these positions are associated to each other in my system i have created two position that is salesperson two position as my parent position below it i have created salesperson 1 1 as its child position and have associated salesperson 2 position as its parent now once these positions are created definitely we need to go to our hierarchy security and have to enable the custom position security hierarchy in here because this hierarchy once enabled then only that positions which you would be setting up with a user would be playing an important role once both of these configurations have been done in the application the third and the most important aspect is to fill in these positions like position 1 I am associating salesperson 1 1 with position as salesperson 1 1 this salesperson 1 1 position is child of parent position that is uh, salesperson 2 and when you log in I have associated salesperson 2 now with this implementation what should happen is whenever salesperson to logs in into the application they should be able to see the records of them as well as the records of the position or the people who are reporting to them before that i would like to show you the security role the security role which has been allocated to both these users that is salesperson 2 and salesperson 1 1 over here if you can see in the accounts table the read permission is only to read their own records now let's log in into the application using the credentials of salesperson 2 and let's see what all they are able to see now i am logged in into the application as salesperson city 2 if you can see in here salesperson city 2 is higher in position to that of salesperson city 1 1 so if i i am able to see the record from salesperson 1 1 and you can see the owner over here is salesperson 1 1 this is all possible because in the position hierarchy we have configured the application this way out that is sales the salesperson 1 1 is uh, is the reporter 
or reporting to position as salesperson 2. So now I am going into the salesperson 2 application and I am removing this user in here. I am just removing or delisting this user so that what exactly happens is when we go back we would be able to differentiate what we were able to see before and what we have been able to see afterwards so i am now removing the position of salesperson 2 from here so I, I i'm just removing it okay to overcome the same what we are do going to do is let's create a new sale position salesperson dummy position i am just saving it and now what i would do is i would go to salesperson 2 and will uh, update it, its user profile so as to include only that person so i am in here salesperson city 2 and i would update its position from that to the new position so in here i will just remove it i will say sales person dummy dummy so the new position so now by doing this what i have done is i have removed the relationship between both the user that is my salesperson one and salesperson two by doing this what i have done is i have removed this relationship now salesperson one one is no more reporting to salesperson two because salesperson two have been allocated a new space now new position out in there now if we log in into the application using the credentials of salesperson 2 we should not be able to see the record which is being owned by salesperson 11. So now I am in the application using the credentials of salesperson 2 and you can see that I am not able to see the record which was associated which he was able to see earlier when he was being reported by salesperson 11 and that's the advantage of using the position hierarchy that is you would be able to see to take up the action on the records of the users which are your reporters irrespective of your business unit in the application so please feel free to reach me for any of your queries or questions and do subscribe my channel for any of your uh, for more interesting videos thank you and have a great day